Hello, this is your former Prime Minister Malcolm Bly Turnbull speaking, and I'd like to say hello after taking quite a hiatus from communicating with you. And for those of you who have been feeling a great sense of chagrin, a bit of separation anxiety, I'm sorry, but I'm back, and boy, have I got a bee in my bonnet. October the 14th is Australia's referendum for a voice to the parliament. Now, before you switch off and just think, well, it's going to be more of the same from the Yes campaign, just, just let's take a moment. I'm not going to virtue signal here. I'm not going to tell you how to vote. I'm not going to try and change your mind. I'm just going to communicate with you as I ordinarily would. I'm going to speak down to you. I'm going to speak above your heads and in a highfalutin way. The question to you, the Australian people, in the referendum is this. Would you change the constitution to recognise first Australians and give Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders a voice to the parliament uh, in regards to legislation affecting them? Well, the answer should be yes. Of course, the no campaign have got a pithy little rhyme, haven't they? If you don't know, vote no. If you've got to guess, vote yes. I don't know. How about this for a, a poem? Vote yes or you're a bit of a Okay, it doesn't rhyme, but I, I'm, I'm really furious because it should be quite simple. It's not going to change anything other than giving Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people a say in legislation that affects them. And I'd like to say this to Mr Duck. Fuck you. <laughs> like Johnny Farnham has said, and he's, he's given his great song, The Voice, to the campaign, we're all someone's daughter. We're all someone's son. How long can we look at each other down the barrel of a gun? We can't anymore, Johnny, because guns were made illegal in 1997. They've been taken from us. So that song that came out in the late 80s was before its time. And uh, I think it's time for us all to have a voice. Now, of course, those people from the right, Duttons and you know, Hansons and Christiansons and all those individuals who I hold in complete contempt will be saying, well, haven't we already got a voice? It's our vote. But they know that that's bullshit. They can't bullshit. They just want to take a couple of strips off elbow. And therein lies the problem with the Yes campaign. Anthony Albanese's ability to communicate it is not good. The way he says expeditious. You sound like Liz Smiley with a mouthful of peanuts, really and truly. Anyway, that's all from me. Good on you. Bye for now.